In the four and a half years that we've been open, we've achieved quite a bit in terms of creating a little bit more awareness within the local communities surrounding our camp. It started off very small in terms of getting people to understand that we didn't want them fishing or netting around our reefs. Um, we started bringing up small topics of overfishing, uh, polluting the local waters, uh, using nets rather than just fishing bottom fish, uh, using hooks rather than nets. And slowly but surely the message started to resonate with the, with the locals. With regards to the MPA, the, probably the biggest achievement was to get the locals to agree to not fish in the, in the area. And um, that's quite a, quite a big achievement in Madagascar where a lot of the time fishing is the main source of food. Nosy Combo, we've got a fringing reef that is about 10 meters deep and we've also got a lovely seagrass bed and all around the reef it is covered in hard coral, soft coral, sea fans, a huge array of wildlife that includes turtles, stingrays, lionfish, even the occasional shark that comes through. We've even had dolphins in the bay and we've had humpback whales right now which has been so fantastic. We do several different projects here first of which is our reef surveys, which are long-term data collecting surveys with transects spreading all the way down the reef. We measure the fish organisms, the benthic organisms, those are all the guys that swim along the bottom, and all the sessile, which is all the coral. Uh, when volunteers join us, they'll specialize in one of these areas to start with. We'll train them how to identify those species, how to survey them, and then as a team, you all group together and carry out reef surveys. As well as our reef survey project, we have artificial reefs, which we've added to our reef system over the last year. Our first artificial reef is a series of metal structures that have been made by volunteers and we've put out on the sand to provide additional substrate for things to grow. Our other artificial reef project involves a series of concrete structures that again were made by our volunteers and we've attached some corals to start a brand new coral transplantation project. This we only started a few months ago. The baby corals are already growing and we're now gonna start surveying this coral site as a new artificial reef. Both of these projects we put forward because our reef itself in front of the, our base is a marine protected area. So it's important that we set up these artificial reefs and we continue to expand them to try and boost the rejuvenation process of this reef. It used to suffer very bad fishing, but now the marine protected area is in place. We're hoping that over the next few years, our surveys and our artificial reef will show how the marine protected area is starting to recover and provide more fish and a better ecosystem for the local community. In addition to all of that, we also do nudibranch surveys. Nudie ranks are little sea slugs that are a good indicator of reef health and a good indicator of biodiversity. So in the same way of butterflies in the forest, we go out and assess nudie ranks and the more brightly coloured ones we see, the more different species, the better. It's a really fun dive for the volunteers and they love it because it's like a treasure hunt. On top of the nudie ranks, we also have turtle surveys. We have a small population of green and hawksbill turtles that you can see popping up all over our reef. We are collecting long-term time series data on them as well. Here at MRCI, in November 2016, we set up a marine protected area that is a no take reserve. That means that you cannot fish in that area, you cannot anchor boats. Boating activity across the area is restricted. No one is allowed to take anything even on the low tide. This is to allow the area to recover from previous very intensive artisanal fishing activity, to allow the fish stocks to recover and for the coral reef itself to flourish. As the marine protected area 
has a seagrass bed and a shallow coral reef. It's a perfect nursery ground for juvenile fish. This means that our marine protected area is a very important and unique ecosystem. This is why we decided for our marine protected area to be put forward to Mission Blue to add to their global network of Hope Spots marine protected areas. Mission Blue is an organization that was set up by the American marine biologist, Dr. Sylvia Earl and she set up this foundation to promote a global network of marine protected areas. The idea behind it is to get organizations, NGOs, and the public from all over the world to collaborate together to promote any areas of ocean that require protection or are already being protected but need more awareness. Protecting small pockets of ocean all around the world like the same way we do with national parks to ensure that the natural fish stocks and ecosystems can survive the next generations to come.